Let's continue, as some uh, commenters have so eloquently pointed out in the comments section on a lot of my videos, this crusade against Windows 10. This computer has been powered on since, oh, I don't know, 2 o'clock. So it's been about 40 minutes. And of that time, it has taken until now to actually get this started, and look at how friggin' slow this is. Look at this crap. There is no reason why this shouldn't have been done 30 minutes ago. It's a 10 minute process that has now taken 45 minutes, because Windows 10 has sat here doing nothing. Sitting at the desktop, the icons aren't loading, the icons here aren't loading. Look at this. Look at this crap. This is a gigabit network connection for sh sakes. And it's that slow? You know, there are Windows Vista machines that I've got, and I've had in my possession that run really slow. They chug and chug and chug and take forever to do anything. This reminds me an awful lot of that. And Windows Vista was universally reviled. So what the Quack. has changed in the past... What has changed in the past 13 years that now all of a sudden makes this acceptable? You know what? I bet you the reason why everybody is so Windows 10 shell, Microsoft shell, and they think it's so great is because they've got it installed on their Uber Elite SSDs, their NVMe PCI Express, four terabyte solid state drives. You know, and then these people have the nerve to turn around on videos that I make of things like that. And they get upset at hardware manufacturers for making SLI rigs where one of the PCI Express slots is, happens to be blocked if you're using an SLI setup. The logic of computer enthusiast just defies explanation. Look at this crap. What the f is this like, seriously. I might just make this its own video. This is This is on par with a 10 100. Actually, no. 10 megabits. It's on par with about 10 megabits. And yet, I'm pretty sure if I go look over on that switch... No. Well, looks like it's connected 100 for some reason. Maybe it's only 100 megabits, but it should still be a lot faster than that for 100 megabits. That's pretty sad. I think I can get faster speeds over Wi-Fi. Terrible. Terrible. And actually, I know I can get faster speeds than that, because look, it's doing it right now. There's no excuse why it's not sustaining that. But because it's Windows 10 and it thinks it's all that, it's got to sit there and prioritize all the system processes over everything else that I am doing. And that includes churning the disk for its stupid nonsense whatever, that if you want to use the Insider Preview builds, which are enabled on this, you need to leave on. Otherwise, you can't install the Insider Preview builds, because apparently not sending data back to Microsoft is like some kind of a molts like a sin or something, and breaks the operating system. This is ridiculous. You know what, if this kind of crap came out ten years ago, people would people would abandon it and Microsoft would go into business. You know? But yet apparently because now it's the year 2020 and people have got their Uber Elite SSDs, it doesn't seem to matter anymore. Windows 10 drags on everything that's not an SSD. That's what I found. That's what this is. This is just a 250 gigabyte hard drive. It's probably not even all that old either. Actually, no, I take that back. 120. It's a 120 gigabyte hard drive. So, okay, maybe it's a little old. Say to 1.5, possibly. Oh, actually, I can't even check, because it's not even letting that open, even though the program is sitting right there. Look at this crap. The program is right there. It's running. And yet, the icon for the program is not there. 
what the hell? It goes up. And it goes down. And it goes up. And it goes... This isn't a f***ing roller coaster, okay? It's a f***ing Ethernet connection. Over what is basically a brand new f***ing cable. Oh my god, really? Wow. Where's my hammer? I think Smashy Smashy's gonna come out for some fun here. Because I'm really getting ticked off with this. This is inexcusable. There's no network activity. It's just slowing down. Why? It's, it's going even slower now. Oh, now it's picking up. Very slowly. Even though I know it could do 140, it's now doing 14. Before anybody says anything, I have an entire stack of hard drives I can replace it with. So if I want to get smashy smashy out and have a little bit of fun, I think I can do that. I hate to do that because I hate to waste what is probably got nothing to do with the problem. But the issue with software is that you can't smash it to smithereens if it does stupid sh like this. Suddenly now we're up at 130 again. What the hell? Probably worth mentioning that there, maybe my opinion is being colored by the fact that I'm pissed off about a couple of things that have or have not happened today that may or may not put a wrench in uh, upcoming plans, future plans, especially if it goes the way that I fully expected it will. Um, but there's just no reason for this. I had that whole shelf of laptops backed up and dealt with in two hours, and this thing on its own is going to take two hours. Because Windows 10, that's the only thing I can fathom. There's no reason for this hardware to be as slow as it is. It's an i frickin' 3. Look at this. It's not that old. Like, 2011, maybe. It's a first generation, so yeah, probably 2011. It's not even a decade. I've got 386s in there that can run rings around this thing. You know what? I know somebody's gonna now go into the comments and be like, Oh, well, 386 does a whole lot less for how much power it uses. <laughs> well, okay, fine. Check this out. People universally despise the APU, AMD's APU. This thing's got an A4-3400 in it, which is about the lowest-end APU you can frickin' buy, and it runs rings around this thing. Look at this. It's sitting down here at, like, 30 again. Keep a constant speed. This is like somebody on the highway. And you, everybody's seen these people. Somebody on the friggin' highway, hogging the left lane. They're going fast and slow. One minute, they're going 160 and 100. The next minute, they're going 80 and 100. And it makes you constantly have to change your speed, and it pisses you off. It's the same damn thing. There's no reason for it. It's just doing it anyway. Yeah. So it's now past uh, 3 o'clock, so my fireball rule timeout expired. And uh, of course this thing timed out because it took too damn long. Should have been done 10 minutes. Sat there and farted around for half an hour. And then sat there and farted around for another 20 minutes. Doing nothing. God. It's like... Welcome back to 1985, guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's like back in the old days. Where you had to wait for things to fart around and load from floppy disk. In fact, actually, I think loading from floppy disk was faster than this. Dreadful. Just dreadful. It's one of the big problems of things these days. Is You know, you've, you've taken one step forward and two steps back. Every time they improve... The performance of something, the software stack running on top of it gets so bloated that it ends up being slower than the previous generation anyway. And somehow this is acceptable. Oh yeah, while well, I'm at it, uh, the comment section will be moderated because I can just about guarantee you that there will be individuals out there who will take me to task as if somehow my opinion must be wrong because they disagree. Because it happens every time I upload a Windows 10 video, I get these individuals. It's like, you know what? I get it. Not everybody's going to agree with me. 
I can't hope to possibly have the same opinion as about 10 billion other people. No, it just doesn't happen. But stay out of my comment section if you're going to tell me I'm wrong, because I'm not wrong. There's proof of it right there. Okay? You know, like, if you're going to sit there and tell me that your opinion is wrong, I'm going to kick your ass to the curb. You're going to get banned because you deserve it. Because you're an idiot. And, uh, it's, it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life right there. But, honestly. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, don't try me on for size, right? You think I'm not going to moderate mercilessly? Well, yeah, just watch me.